Doesn't reek of human trafficking and kidnapping whatsoever. Hello, Internet! My name is Blitz, and we are back for another episode of Inane on the Internet. We are going to be looking, once again, at Weird Shit for Sale on Craigslist. Also, Happy New Year! Yeah! <laughs> Here's to another year of disaster. Not sponsored by Pepsi, but very much sponsored by Crippling Depression. Let's get started, shall we? I'm seeing shit that was, that it was for sale last month when I was looking. Oh, was it too hideous to sell? Crystal! Glimmering Crystal! Hundred dollars! This is so pretty! And when the light shines, it stops people to look at it. Sparkling Beauty! No picture! I clicked- I clicked on this picture because I- uh, this, uh, ad. Because I was curious as what, like, sort of- It looks very crowded where they took the picture. But more interestingly enough, it appears to be on top of another table. Hey, I think I had one of those. Well, not me, like my grandmother. And every time I went over to pl play at her house when I was little, we play with one of these. Wow! I just have some great flashbacks to like my great grandmother's house. Look at all that plastic. <laughs> Terrific antique postal cabinet holds 100 bottles of wine. Quite concerning that you decided to go with that for a measurement. Like, I get it, like, wine storage, like, that that's cool, but, um, it's a little weird. That was your first go-to thing, was wine. Not shoes, not mail, not, like, antiques or, like, collectibles. Wine. Who has a hundred bottles of wine in their home? Oh! Vintage Pudge Doll by Horseman Dolls. Like, the Horseman of the Apocalypse? Kinda looks like some child may have taking their scissors to that doll's hair. Oh, oh, oh my god, what happened to Harry's face? And did they give Hedwig eyelashes? They did. Oh my god. We have to let children know that the owl is a girl. So paint some eyelashes on and give it a pretty necklace. I'm real surprised they just didn't paint on boobs on this bird. Harry, what happened? What happened, Harry? Warner Brothers license. This is an official ornament. Cannot believe this was approved. <laughs> this monstrosity. This must be before they realized what Harry Potter would do for the world and their company. Before they gave Harry and Hedwig the proper respect that they deserve. Oh, gross! Wow, that's hideous. Equally hideous. Also gross. What is... It's kinda cool. A little... Ooh, ooh. Never mind, I take it back. Oh god, wait a minute. That one doesn't have a leg. That's very inclusive, but also slightly, uh... Like, I don't think the old diversity thing was the uh, reason for that particular model being there. It's made with great detail, one of a kind. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. That's kind of cool and kind of in a disturbing way. Kind of uncanny, Valley, just a tiny bit. See, this one, this one I clicked on because I was curious. Like, excellent mid-century fire hydrant. Where are you finding these things? Who, it was, like, did they just go dumpster diving and the city just threw away a fire hydrant and you just repainted it? Or did you, like, steal it? I'm confused of where people get things like this that exclusively belong to cities. The only things I've seen that have, like, city value, like, stop signs and street signs and, like, banners, totally not bought legally, straight up stolen. How do you steal a fire hydrant, though? I don't know, somebody stole a beach once. F and F, Mr. Peanut, Salt and Pepper. Uh, are they really? Are you sure they're not just figurines? Cause like, those really don't look durable at all, that looks like cheap plastic. Uh, and how much salt and pepper can those actually hold? Pretty sure some salt and pepper packets you could get at McDonald's hold a bit more than that. Hey! Cheerleader Texaco doll! That's cool! I didn't know they did dolls. That's interesting. I did a little video on the side channel I have about an abandoned Texaco, you should check it out. Totally plugging in my own shit, just description, link, what the fuck, I'll figure it out. Like abandoned buildings and shit. Yeah. Alright, well now that I've attempted to buy something. Jeez. 
Scythe. Does anyone want a scythe? Even when you grow up in a farming community, it's still really hard to see a scythe as anything other than something wielded, wielded by the Grim Reaper. Here's a police radio. Again, where do you guys get this stuff? Free ATM machine? We had to get a new machine that was handicapped accessible. This machine was working at that time. It's a good fireproof safe. It can use to sell parts on eBay for existing machines. We need the room in our store to set up a sales display. All I have to do is come and get it. It's heavy. You will need two strong people. Picture's a stock picture. Really? You don't say. This seems legit. Totally safe to go and do that. Doesn't reek of human trafficking and kidnapping whatsoever. This doll looks like she's seen a bit too much. Oh. Talking Stuart Little plug. Are you sure? Are you sh Ooh, are you sure that's Stuart Little? You sure? Leg shackles in two pairs of- two pair of handcuffs. The fact that this was listed under sporting goods is quite concerning to me. Another really scary doll. Tiny Tears doll. Does she cry or does she make you cry? Madam Alexander, Heidi, and Alice dolls. Also really creepy. Jesus Christ, what happened here? Vintage strawberry shortcake sour grapes and pet dregs? So is she supposed to be that gross looking? Oh, I can't even make that face. Oh! Oh, I had this! Oh, I love this as a kid. See, there's a secret little passageway right on- or a little- I don't know if it's a passageway, it's a little, little room behind those little stairs. Drawbridge goes up and down and makes a really cool noise. The water's in really bad condition, looks like it's been peeled off. A little trap door leads down to there- Oh, oh my god. Are my parents selling this? What the hell? Ugh, there are a lot of creepy dolls! Limited edition Port Ashley. Ugh. Oh god, you had to give her dimples? Does not add to her cuteness in the way that it should. Eight dollars, that's really low for a limited edition porcelain doll. Why are you trying to get rid of it? All right, well that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, if you want me to continue to look for for sale in Craigslist, if you would like for me to do something different in Craigslist or Yahoo Answers or something totally different, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, bye internet. Who is texting me? Oh, kitten! Oh, kitten! She's so cute!